Gunfire and explosions rocked Turkey's capital of Ankara and the main city of Istanbul Friday night into Saturday morning. Terrorism is in United States, in Europe, in Turkey. A faction of the Turkish military launched the coup using helicopters and tanks. At 11.25 p.m. local time Friday, the Turkish military issued a statement saying they had taken control of the country and imposed martial law. Turkey's president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, had been on vacation at the time and called upon citizens to go to the streets to fight for democracy. At the Ahiska Turkish American Community Center in West Springfield, Turkish Americans gathered together to watch what was going on as the military coup took place. Many of them concerned about relatives and family members overseas. They also displayed their support for President Recep Erdogan. Najib Osmanli and his father, Mehdi, have lived in West Springfield for 10 years. It's not first time. It's almost... 40, 50 years we have that problem in Turkey. One of Osmanli's relatives sent him a video of the clashes. I have relatives that live in Istanbul. They didn't even know what's going on. They called me to say what we're going to do. I said go outside with the people. After hours of violence and tension, the Turkish government announced the coup was over. 161 people had been killed and 1,440 had been injured. 2,839 members of Turkey's military had been arrested. President Erdogan, who has gained criticism for giving more power to his position, said the uprising was, quote, an act of treason and that those responsible would pay a heavy price. He also referenced blame on Fethullah Gulen, a cleric and former ally who lives in exile in Pennsylvania. All the Turkish in the United States, we want to go to Pennsylvania protest. and protest against Gulen. And we want to protest, is the, we want to say why the United States don't give Gulen to Turkey. Why? Gulen has denied any connection to the coup attempt and said he condemned it. The country does not have the death penalty, but must decide what they will do with the captives. President Barack Obama has announced his support for Turkey's democratically elected government and NATO ally. In West Springfield, David McKay, 22 News.